So we just got out here. Uh, we're trying to figure out the lay of the land here. Uh, I know where the squid have been. Uh, I don't know exactly where they're going to be today. So we're going to start fishing where I was yesterday. We're going to do a quick drift over the area. And then we're going to bounce around a little bit. We're going to do a couple quick drifts and see if we can figure out a concentration of these squid. And at that point, we're gonna think about getting on the anchor if the bite is really good. If it's, if it's still sporadic, then we'll keep drifting around. But if we get into them really good, then we'll go up current and we'll come back and anchor on them. I'm gonna send this down to the bottom. I'm gonna let it sit. Remember, these squid jigs are keeled. And so I'm just gonna let them sit. Do the boat motion to set it, and then I'm just gonna periodically jig this bait. Now one cool, oh, just missed that one. Now one cool thing about squid fishing is its simplicity. Just a simple high-low rig and uh, just drifting along here. As Rob said, uh, once we find the jackpot, we might anchor over those fish, but just super simple, great first trip of the season. Obviously not the bluebird day we had hoped, but you know, these squid are great for fluke fishing later in the season. Of course, the dinner table this time of year, it's just a great way to kick off the season. They're close near the boat ramp, near the marina, close by. So a great way to you know, do a shakedown cruise for the boat. And uh, you know, in today's case, play a little hooky. So I got the hoagie squid jigs tied on here to the, just a basic high-low rig, nothing special. Today it hasn't really mattered, I'm using 30 pound fluorocarbon, just so we don't lose any rigs on the bottom. But, real simple, you put the weight on the bottom, drop it all the way down until the line stops. And then I just like to let the line go slack for about three, three to five seconds. And after a little bit, jig up, and you see if you have any weight on it. You'll feel the squid. It's a really simple jig. There's no hooks on it, there's no barbs, there's just, upward facing tines. So when you hook them, you really gotta make sure it's a real steady, keep pressure on the squid itself or it'll fall right off. I like to make four or five jigs with it. And if I don't get anything, bring it up, check for weeds. The squid are very aggressive. If they're there, they're gonna eat it. Every once in a while, you'll have to change your color out as the conditions change, but real simple. You just keep jigging it and you'll get them. You just want to reel steady and slow on the way up once you hook one. A lot of times on the way up, if you reel slow enough, they'll chase each other up to the surface and then his friend will jump on the other rig, especially if you're using a high-low rig like this. You can get them two at a time. Uh, most of the time you're going to get singles, but when it gets hot and heavy, it's really, really common to get them two at a time and sometimes even three at a time, uh, you can get two on the same jig. That's when they're really going crazy. But. We're marking some right now. I'm going to get this jig back down, see if we can get another one. Uh, we got a pretty good amount on the screen right now, and, and we seem to be getting them pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the anchor ready and get on the hook. So we just got on the hook here, we marked a nice pile. We were able to pull four out just while I was getting the anchor ready. So you know we're gonna get some good, good squid here. Um, I got about 100 feet of line out, nice shallow angle, so we can tell that we're not gonna drag here. And we're gonna check that frequently because with all the boats around, you don't wanna be dragging anchor at all. So today the pink's been the hot color and uh, so it's one of those situations if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
but we do carry the four basic colors. We have the green, the glow, the pink, and then the natural amber color. And one thing I know is when the bite sort of cools down, sometimes it's important just to swap out the colors. Just when you think you have it figured out, the next time you go out, the situation changes. There we go. Good one on there. Yeah, nice. Oh, he got me. It's a nice honker. These squid are just so cool. I love their colors. This guy was just barely hooked. The beauty of squid fishing is there's really not a whole lot to say. It's a nice early season trip. You can drift, you can anchor. You send your jigs down to the bottom. Nice, slow, easy jig, if that and uh, in a couple hours effort, you got dinner, you've got bait, and uh, a boat broken in for the season with your first trip.